Welcome back. This is your Express Sports on a Monday morning discussing the US Open. Serena Williams last night beat world number one Victoria Azarenka 622675 and had to work for it after a rain delayed final of the women's US Open. The men, of course, meet today. Andy Murray has his big shot at a Grand Slam title, but he's got to get past Novak Djokovic in the process. Joining me in studio is SA tennis star Jeff Kutsia. Jeff, great to catch up with you again, man. Yeah. Welcome to the Cape Town Studios. It's been probably a few years since we last sat down on TV together, my friend. An exciting time in your life. I understand you have just welcomed a new addition to the Kutsia family. Are you getting any sleep, my friend? Yeah, it's been <laughs> tough. Thanks for having me. It's been really tough, you know, and uh, Gabriella, little princess, only one month old. So, yeah, it's been a few hours sleep here and there, but enjoying every minute of it. So now you are primed for breakfast TV, my friend. Oh, yeah, it feels like, you know, I'm getting just used to it, but, you know, she's bringing us so much joy. Oh, that's fantastic. We love the newborn babies around here, man. I've had my education in just the kinds of trials that you go through, but congratulations, Thank my you. friend. Fantastic Thanks. to see you doing so well. SA Tennis had an exciting year. Just a quick recap. How are you doing, my friend? Where are you in the game at the moment? Well, at the moment, I've got an injury, so I'm taking, I've had a knee operation, so I'm taking off. I've got a protective ranking, so I'll start next year. So I'm just doing the daddy thing this year and then spending some time with the family and then hopefully to join the guys next year again. Yep, and I know they are sorely missing you at the moment, so we look forward to seeing you back on the court, my friend. Let's turn to Flushing Meadows. Flushing, indeed, the rain has had a major influence on this year's US Open. As a player, how difficult is it to keep your head in the game when something like a semi-final or a final is being postponed? These are, of course, games that you are working towards where you are peaking at just the right time. Yeah, it's a tough situation, you know, if you look at Djokovic Ferrer, you know, you kind of gave them like an hour and a half before you know the tornado is coming, so do you go out full out, you know, Djokovic struggled, and then uh, the next day without the rain, uh, Djokovic just came back and won in three straight threats after that, so it was all credit to Ferrer, but I mean, it does play a little trick on you, so it's, it's really tough, but you have to be mentally strong. Let's talk about being mentally strong as we focus on the ladies' final last night. I think Victoria Azarenka would have been the favourite on paper. People now are saying that Serena Williams might be the greatest female player of all time. She fought with body, but she fought with soul, with mind. She really did dominate there, and she had to fight back. There were some signs of nerves. Yeah, definitely. You know, she hasn't won this title since 2008. So, I mean, it's been a tough, but all credit to her. She's had a great season so far. I mean, winning a gold medal in, um, at Wimbledon, Wimbledon as well, and then also winning Stanford, and leading up to the US Open, she's only really lost one match, you know, and she's played an unbelievable tournament, only losing a first set in the finals. Both Williams sisters struggling with major injuries as well, which you will know that is often the toughest battle that we don't get to see, is that getting yourself motivated to get back onto the court. Yeah, that's mo the most the difficult part, you know, but I mean, she, she took some time off, you know, she was trying a little bit of acting as well, so off the tennis scene, but now she came back, she was really focused, you could see there was a little different step in her this year in all credit, I mean, she served really well, and um, um, Asarenka was up 5-3, you know, serving for the match at 5-4. Yeah. And then suddenly, you know, if you don't get that first two points, it always make it tough. It's a slippery slope, man. Now, Andy Murray, you talk about a resurgent player. He is now knocking on the door of greatness. He again proved his worth in the Olympics. In fact, the Olympics seems to be quite a pivotal thing this year in the entire world of sport. Does he have enough to be able to take his first Grand Slam title? I, I personally do think so, you know, Graham. I think once he uh, won that uh, Olympic gold, he, the way he won it, the way he beat Federer, that just showed uh, like a very good sign. And I honestly think, you know, if, this is his time. If he doesn't do it in the next, you know, year or so, but this is by far his best time to win a Grand Slam. And the serve is looking on point at the moment, and that's going to be a major tool against Djokovic. Let's talk about the two very conspicuous absences lastly. Um, you mentioned Federer. He's not there, and that's becoming quite commonplace. And Rafa's not there. Um, are we seeing a shift in the fortunes in men's tennis? I think definitely these two, you're probably going to see a lot of more rivalry with uh, Djokovic and Murray. But, you know, a, a Brit hasn't won this event since 1927, so they're looking forward to it, you know. And uh, Murray won his first set at Wimbledon this year, so he's been in four finals, so this is his fifth one. 
his coach Lendl's only been in four until he won his first slam. So definitely, I think it's, it's time for, for Murray to win. The stars are set. Jeff, thank you so much for joining Thanks. us. I have a feeling we're going to see you. a lot more of you when, when sleep patterns allow. But all the best. Congratulations on the arrival of Gabriella. Um, and all the best for the season ahead, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was SA T Tennis Davis Cup star Jeff Kutzia chatting to us about the US Open final. We, of course, get the men's final later tonight. Murray versus Djokovic should be a cracker. Now I'm smelling something delicious coming from the kitchen. Leanne, what are you making, dear? <laughs>